Hello everyone, it's me Samuel Taylor Aykroyd and welcome back to my channel. In this video I am going to be unboxing the Gemini Jets 1400 scale British Airways Boeing 747-400 model in the BOAC livery. Earlier this year, back in February of 2021, I unboxed a similar model which is this model right here. And as you can see, it's in the normal up-to-date British Airways livery. And the registration of this aircraft is Golf Dash Charlie India Victor November. And the registration of this model, that is in the BOAC livery, is Golf Dash Bravo Yankee Golf Charlie. And I got this model from the aviation shop at the runway visitor park at Manchester Airport when I took a trip out there back on the 4th of July of 2021. I have two videos on my channel from when I went there on that day. Now I just want to say that this model has actually already been unboxed, not by me, but by the guy who sold me this model at the runway visitor park at Manchester Airport. And the only reason he opened it is because he let me have a look at the model because this model caught my eye and a few other things at that aviation shop did catch my eye as well but I only bought this model so it was nice of that man who sold this model to me to let me have a look at this model before buying it and then afterwards he put the model back in the box which was a relief so now let's get to having a look at the box containing the model so of course, like a lot of Gemini Jets models, there is this part of the box that you can lift up and have a look at the top of the model, as well as read the information about this particular aircraft. So there's the information about this particular aircraft. I'll add a picture as an overlay so you can have a better look if you want to. And up here we have some information about the Boeing 747-400 fleet. Again, I will add a picture as an overlay so you can have a better look at what it says. And now I'm going to have a look at the other parts of this box. So on the front there is the Gemini Jets logo. Up here it says made for collectors by collectors. Here we have a diagram of the aircraft model inside this box. Down here we have the aircraft type Boeing 747-400 with the British Airways logo underneath the type. And down here it says 1400 scale die cast model aircraft. And over here it says look inside which we have pretty much already done. Everything is pretty much the same on both the left side and right side of the box. We have the Gemini Jets logo right here. Down here it says 1400 scale die cast model. And we also have the item number. And over here we have another diagram of the model inside the box with the aircraft type underneath that diagram. On the top of the box we yet again have the Gemini Jets logo. And over here it says adult collectible model. Warning, contain small parts, unsuitable for children under 14 years of age. And here we have the barcode next to that writing. And of course the barcode as well as the item number is nothing really that interesting. At the bottom of the box we of course have the Gemini Jets logo right there. And here it says 1400 scale die cast model. Highly collectible, superior quality, realistic metal landing gear detailed printed graphics and as real as it gets features. On the back of the box we have another diagram of the model inside the box as well as the Gemini Jets logo and all this information down here underneath the diagram of the aircraft is pretty much information about Gemini Jets themselves as well as their social media such as Twitter, Instagram, Facebook and their website. And underneath all the information about Gemini Jets, we have some legal stuff down here, which is nothing really too important to the collectors, really. And down here, it says copyright 2019 Gemini Jets, Las Vegas, Nevada, USA. And of course, the Made in China logo. So now let's get to unboxing this model. So... I'm going to do what I have done in a lot of my previous model unboxings. Just lift up this part of the box. 
pull this part of the box out. Okay, sometimes it's easy and sometimes it can be a bit difficult. There we go. And of course, lift up the plastic that is helping protect the model. And here is the model itself. So now that the model has been unboxed, let's take a look at the details of the model. Starting off with the front of the aircraft, here we have the first class cabin in front of the L1 door right here. Down here we have the nose landing gear as well as the last two letters of the registration of the aircraft on the landing gear doors. Here we have the union flag, here we have the cockpit windows, here is an emergency escape hatch for the pilots in the cockpit. Up here we have the upper deck of the aircraft and I'm pretty sure that the upper deck on a British Airways Boeing 747 is business class. Correct me if I'm wrong and if you know the answer in the comments below. And here we have one of the two doors on the upper deck of the aircraft. Down here we have the BOAC lettering. And for those of you that don't know what BOAC stands for, it stands for British Overseas Airways Corporation. And behind the L1 door right here we have another cabin and this, if I'm not mistaken, is Club World. And here we have the second door on the left hand side of the aircraft. And behind that we have another cabin. If I'm not mistaken, this is World Traveller Plus. And at the front of the World Traveller Plus cabin, we have the front of the wing with the landing lights here. And of course, we have all the normal stuff at the front of the wings, such as the slats, even though I know you can't see them from this angle and probably the lighting as well. Here we have engines one and two and the engines on this model also have the BOAC lettering on them. And the engines used on a British Airways Boeing 747, for those of you that don't already know, are the Rolls-Royce RB211-524G engines. And here we have the winglet on the left wing here, as well as the red navigation light on the wing. And this part of the wing is where the fuel comes out of, if the pilots are trying to dump fuel. Here we have the flaps on the left wing of this aircraft as well as the speed brakes just here. We also have one of the aircraft's ailerons here and for those of you that don't know what an aileron on an aircraft is, the aileron is a part of the wing that helps the aircraft tilt from left to right. And in the middle of the wing we have another door right here and from this door leading to the back of the aircraft, the rest of the cabin is the World Traveller cabin. And we have another door in the middle of the Economy Class cabin. And now onto the back of the aircraft. Here we have the British Airways logo with the Speedbird check. Here we have the dates 1919 to 2019. And a few of the British Airways Boeing 747s were actually painted in older British Airways liveries to celebrate 100 years of British Airways, which you might be able to know from the dates shown here, 1919 to 2019, which are 100 years apart. Here we have the door at the back of the aircraft on the left-hand side, and to the right of the back of the door on the left-hand side of the aircraft, we have the registration of the aircraft, Golf-Bravo Yankee Golf Charlie, G-BYGC and just underneath these windows here I don't want to zoom in too far on it but we have some writing displaying the aircraft type and here we have the tail of the aircraft as well as the aircraft's tail wings which have the elevators on them which control the aircraft's up and down pitch and I don't know if you can see or not but here on the back of the tail we have the rudders. I don't know how well you can see them, you might be able to see them. I can see them through the flip screen of the camera, but I don't know about you. 
and here on the back of the aircraft there is that hole right there and that hole for those of you that don't know is the exhaust and those doors are placed right under the auxiliary power unit or APU. Now there are only a few differences on the right hand side of the aircraft from the left hand side and one of those differences being the right side has the cargo doors, one of them being there just underneath the Club World cabin near the front of the aircraft. There's also a difference in engine numbers. Here we have engines 3 and 4. And another difference is instead of a red navigation light, there is a green navigation light on the right side of the aircraft. And nearer the back of the aircraft, just underneath the economy class cabin, we have two more cargo doors. There's the bigger one and there is a smaller one just there. And on the top of the aircraft, we have the antennas which are these small white things there. We have the aircraft's Wi-Fi box just there. And here we have another antenna. I don't know if you can see it or not. It is just there. And now onto the features of the bottom of the aircraft. There aren't too many, but I will show you them anyway. Here we have the nose landing gear with the nose landing gear doors. Here we have the Gemini Jets logo. Here are the main sets of landing gear, the right wing landing gear, the left wing landing gear, and the other sets of landing gear on the belly of the aircraft. On the left wing of the aircraft, we have the aircraft's registration, Golf-Bravo Yankee Golf Charlie, G-BYGC. And those are pretty much the main features of the belly of the aircraft. And I am really glad to have this model as part of my collection. And now I have two Gemini Jet 1400 scale British Airways Boeing 747-400 models. This one and the one in the normal British Airways livery right here. So now that I have got two different liveries of the same aircraft type produced by the same company, I think what I am going to do is I am going to collect all of the Gemini Jets 1400 scale British Airways Boeing 747-400 models, which definitely won't be cheap and I won't be buying them all right away. In fact, I don't plan on buying another aircraft model for quite a while. And this might be the last aircraft model unboxing and review in quite a long time, maybe a few months or so. And maybe I will get some more models for Christmas 2021. Thank you all so much for watching this video on my channel. I hope you all enjoyed. Remember to stay safe and I will see you all in the next video whenever I upload one. Bye.